But can I tell you, I, I'm, I'm afraid that we don't pick people up as much as we should. I'm afraid that we actually don't help people as much as we should. And it's not because we don't want to. I actually believe that we want to. If you're here, I kind of have hope and expectation that you want good for you and good for people around you. But I think the reason that we don't pick enough people up is because we're too focused on our own limitations. To put it one way, I, I don't think we pick people up because I'm not sure we feel like we're strong enough to actually lift someone up. We'll think, well, how can I lift this person up when I still feel like I'm getting up off the ground myself? I'm still putting the pieces of my life back together. So how am I supposed to pick this person up? How am I supposed to invite that person to church when they know how I used to live before? How am I supposed to pray for someone when I'm, my, I find myself doubting my own faith at times? So do my prayers even work? Why should I even pray for somebody when I'm not sure he even hears me? And we'll allow our own fears and our own anxieties and these own limitations of our own past failures actually hold us back from stepping into the things God wants to do through us. Imagine what would have happened if Peter did that. Imagine if Peter rolls up on this guy, this lame man, and he says, man, Someone should really pray for this person, but it can't be me because I'm the guy that just denied Jesus a few weeks ago. And he says, my own failures are actually preventing me from doing the thing that God has called me to do. He's actually, and, and so we'll allow the thing that we messed up or we did wrong to actually stop us from literally stepping out and fulfilling the purpose of the church, which is to lift someone up. Imagine, and I've heard, I've heard Christians say this all the time. Imagine if he rolls up to this guy and he says, well, I could pray for this guy, but what if he doesn't get healed? And we'll literally allow the fear of my prayer not being immediately answered to prevent us from praying at all. And it's like, well, what's, what is actually, is that the point? Like, what is actually better, that we not pray at all or we pray anyways and we pray every day and we keep showing up to pray every day, whether it's happened before, I'm gonna keep showing up and praying. Instead of letting our own fears and our own limitations stop us from praying at all, I'm gonna keep showing up and believing that my God is good and he might have not answered it yesterday, but he might, but he might do it today, so I'm just gonna pray again.